hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to configure Apache Tomcat 8 with Eclipse so I have a question for you which Eclipse supports integration of Tomcat 8 then you can see on the slide following Eclipse's support Tomcat 8 integration Eclipse Java e Mars has a support of Tomcat 8 integration. Eclipse Java e Kepler and other Eclipse has to install additional server adapters to support Tomcat 8 integration. Now I am going to show you how to configure Tomcat 8 with Eclipse Mars. So here I have downloaded uh, Eclipse Mars which supports for Java uh, it supports for the uh, Java E and I have downloaded uh, Tomcat 8 so if you go to the Tomcat website then if you select Tomcat 8.5 then sorry I have selected wrong so in download section if you select Tomcat 8 then you have a in Tomcat 8 you have a two different version one is 8.5.9 and another is 8.0.39 so if I if I configure 8.5.9 with Eclipse Mars then I need to uh, configure I need to download some additional uh, server adapters but I don't want to do that so that's why for the demo's purpose without uh, I mean adding some additional server adapter I want to proceed with Eclipse Mars so I have downloaded uh, this Eclipse which is version 8.0.39 so I have downloaded this zipped version of Eclipse in my machine and I have extracted it so this this one I had downloaded earlier and I have extracted this one so this one I am going to configure with my uh, Eclipse Mars so here I have an Eclipse JE Mars. So let's open this Eclipse. And C drive Tomcat folder. I'm going to create a work space. Tomcat demo work space. Something like this. Click on the OK. here Eclipse Mars which supports for Java E now you have a button right now I am in uh, Java E perspective so here you have a tab is called server sometimes you do not if you do not see server tab then go to the windows then show view and here you can search for the you can look for the option servers but here this server is available but sometimes if you do not see server over here then go to the other and here type for the server and here is the server options select this one servers and click on the ok so that you will get the uh, servers tab now right click on the servers tab and go to the new option then server and here select the apache expand this apache then you can see directly Eclipse Mars has a support of Tomcat 8 integration. Uh, some other Eclipse also gives you opportunity to uh, integrate Tomcat 8, not directly but uh, indirectly. So uh, to get this option, you need to uh, download some additional server adapters. Then you'll get this option Tomcat 8 integration. Some of the Eclipse does not provide integration of Tomcat 8 so for that you will have to see the documentation now I have selected Tomcat 8 now click on the next now this is asking me to Tomcat installation directory so click on the browse and my Tomcat installation directory is C drive and here I have a 
directory is called tomcat inside the tomcat i have an extracted version of tomcat so go to the here and inside that again one more folder is there so this is home directory if you select this one then eclipse might give you some error so you will have to go to the home directory of the tomcat so this is my home directory now select ok uh, click on the next and finally finish so now tomcat is configured in my work space and once you configure the tomcat then you will see in uh, uh, project explorer uh, there is a directory is called servers if you explore, explore this one then you have a tomcat 8 server and uh, localhost config if you explore this one expand this one then you have a different a directory a different folders so basically these are the folders I am going to talk about in future tutorial so uh, right now so let's start this tomcat right click on the tomcat and click on the start now tomcat is up and running ok it's a starting So now Tomcat is saying started. Now you can either you can uh, open Tomcat on the external browser uh, or you can within the Eclipse you have a already inbuilt browser. So here is the browser and you can here you can type http colon slash slash local host colon 8080. This is the HTTP port of the Tomcat. That is the default port and press enter so look at here so here saying that the requested resource is not available but uh, actually we haven't set any default page for the time cut so that's why this page is coming with HTTP message 404 and same you can hit on the external browser as well so look at here so here saying HTTP status 404 because we did not set any default page that's why if you stop the tomcat by clicking over here terminate or you can stop the server by clicking over here stop the server and if you try to access this page after stopping the tomcat so this is saying this page can't be displayed even on external browser if you hit this same URL again after stopping the tomcat then saying that this page is not available anymore so this way you can configure tomcat on the eclipse so that's all I wanted to cover in this video tutorial in next series of video tutorial I am going to uh, cover some more advanced things in the tomcat how to configure data source how to configure SSL etc so please be with me and that's all Thanks for watching this video.